16-year-old Kylie Rodney went missing at Prosser Family Campground near Lake Tahoe, a party gone wrong. This was the last text message she sent her mom. She told her she'd be home in 45 minutes. Her mom said, okay, be safe, I love you. Kylie said, okay, mom, I love you too. The last time her phone was pinged was at 12.33. It's unclear whether her phone lost battery or was damaged. We just want her home. We're so scared and we miss her so much. Kylie, we love you and if you see this, please just come home. Kylie and her car vanished. That night was the biggest party Prosser Family Campground ever experienced. 200 to 300 people were there. Teenagers, college students, and adults. There were even fights. Kylie lives 25 minutes away at Lost Trails Lodge with her mom and stepdad and her dog, Toby. She has her own car, and that day, she drove to the party with her best friend, Magdalene. Earlier, Kylie also hung out with her close friend, Kate. The day of the party, I hung out with her. We made creme brulee. Before arriving to the party, her ex-boyfriend, Jagger, texted her. He said, be safe. Don't, like, do anything stupid. Even though they were broken up, they were still friends. They texted each other about their day. The last text he got from her was, oh, I'm sorry you're going through that, at 10.30. 24 hours earlier. Kylie, Kate, and some friends went to hang out in Reno, Nevada. This was also a favorite place that Kylie and her ex Jagger would go to spend some alone time together. In these pictures, Jagger gave her a bouquet of thistle flowers, and she commented that she died of happiness, showing a bittersweet moment in their relationship. The night of the party, Kylie and her best friend Magdalene drove in Kylie's car all the way to Prosser Family Campground. They arrived at 10 p.m. As soon as they got there, 10 minutes later, Magdalene left with her boyfriend. She and Kylie said goodbye. And then Kylie spent the rest of the party with Sammy. I saw her the second she got there, and from that moment on, we were pretty much seen together all around the party. We would break off for mere moments from each other to go talk to other people or to go do other things, you know. We would always come back to each other. We were um, just going around the party. We were drinking the same drinks, being teenagers. teenagers, 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 teenagers. Prosser Family Campground, every year. There was a going away party for the seniors. This year, people from all over came, even from San Clemente and San Francisco. It just blew up. It was bigger than any party wow. we've had in Truckee all year and for a lot of years past. Around 10.30, the party began to get out of control. So then Kylie and I were going around taking shots and just drinking. We were trading drinks with each other, we were sharing drinks with each other. It was really overwhelming and weird to see, but I didn't really think much of it. But I just thought, oh, kids are around here, they have vacation homes up here, they're just coming to party, because why not? Around 11, Kylie and Sammy went to her car to charge her phone. And we were talking about her texting her mom and her charging her phone and stuff, and just about the party in general. At 11.30, this is when Kylie texted her mom that she was going to be coming home in about 45 minutes. Then we had a few other friends in the car and then we all decided to go back to the party and we were around in there for a bit. I had asked her for a ride home when we were in the car because my ride was leaving and I wanted to stay at the party longer. And so then we ended up splitting up in the party because I went to go find another ride when we got back into the party after leaving the car. Around 12.25, Kylie and Sammy said goodbye and went their separate ways. Around 12.36, Kylie called Sammy to see if she needed a ride. She was meant to be my ride home, but I knew she was too intoxicated to get me home. So I said, hey, I found another ride home. Like, I hope you stay safe. Like, I'll see you tomorrow. Like, I love you. Like, have fun and stuff. What happened next, only God knows. If she was so intoxicated, why did no one help her? Did she try to drive home? Come to find out, Kate says, Kylie and Sammy never hung out. Her best friend was Magdalene, and Kate and Kylie were close friends. But Sammy was just someone she partied with. Kate says she shouldn't have left Kylie alone. There's no way no one saw anything. 
300 people, and Kylie and her car vanish. This was posted at 10.03 and this at 4.26 a.m. There's even a video of a fight. People do end up getting in fights over who won, but not this time. On Facebook, a man said he met a couple whose daughter said she saw Kylie extremely out of it. She could not speak. She could barely walk. If that's the case, what really happened? All we know for sure is that at 11.30, she texted her mom. At 12 o'clock, a girl named Elsa sees Kylie. At 12.03, the last location shared with her mom was the campground. At 12.30, Snapchat data shows a ping in the same location as the campground. And the FBI confirms that at 12.33, her phone was turned off. Ended up splitting up in the party because I went to go find another ride when we got back into the party after leaving the car so that we could, um, sorry, my mind is in a moment. No, that's at 12.33, her phone was turned off. But Sammy says that at 12.36, she received a phone call from Kylie. In this statement, she says, when she called me, she was not in a car. I could hear the party and people talking in the background. Sammy and Magdalene say that there were sketchy guys at the party. In the only 10 minutes that I was there, I literally had a group of Five guys try to come get me to take as many like um, bong rips as I could uh, like forcefully without my boyfriend present. There was a lot of guys that did approach us. Definitely I was getting a gut feeling during that that party that something something just didn't feel right with the amount of people that were there and how old some of these people were from the amount of people who did show up. I It was scary. As soon as Jagger heard about Kylie's disappearance, he began to search for her. I taught her how to get out of sticky situations. Um, and I know that she's smart. She wouldn't do something that's gonna, like, definitely put her life in risk. Sammy, who organized the party, took the lead in the searches for Kylie. I am just desperate to do anything that I can to bring her help. Kylie is not only a beautiful soul, but she is extremely talented and intelligent. She just graduated high school at 16 with high honors. She's so intelligent and beautiful and just such a kind and wonderful person. I need her to come home and I need us to find her. Dear Kylie, your mom has this message for you. Kylie, I love you so, 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 so much and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry and we're doing everything that we can and, and, and if you have her, please, please give me my baby back. As I was uploading this video, I got news that Kylie Rodney was found. She was not too far from her home. She had driven off the road into a lake. That night, she had left around 12.30 and never made it home. This means that at 12.36, when Kylie called Sammy, despite being heavily under the influence, she wanted to make sure that Sammy had a ride home. My deepest condolences to Kylie's family. Kylie touched the hearts of many, and her memory will live forever.